welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today, guys, where we have a monumental video to come. Because first of all, there's huge news in the footballing world, and that is that Jurgen Klopp will be leaving Liverpool at the end of the season after nine years in charge. And that has led to an inevitable question amongst Barcelona fans. Could it ever happen? Could we ever see Jurgen Klopp as the coach of Barca? And more than that today, we're going to be discussing, do we need a coach like him? Is Klopp, somebody like Klopp, exactly what Barca are crying out for? And this comes on a day where Xavi has cast doubt, has cast uncertainty over his own future as the Barca coach. We're going to be discussing it all on a big day. So let's do it. Because let's first of all kick off with those all important quotes from Xavi Hernandez in his press conference today ahead of Barca versus Villarreal on Saturday. And Xavi openly came out and said there when he was asked about his future, about his continuity at Barca, especially with these Klopp rumours flying around, what is going to happen with you? And he said, I've been here for two and a half years now. I have less time than more at this club. He said, I know that. He said, Pep was here for four years. Luis Enrique was here for three. There will come a point where I have to leave. Rest assured. So Xavi there is under no illusions that you don't get forever at Barca. And he has already been here for two and a half years. And he sees right now that he has less time left than more as it stands. And he went on to say, you miss people when they leave. He said, just have a look at Busi, at Jordi Alba. He said the La Liga titles that were won under Ernesto Valverde. And he said, I hope that you miss me when I leave. And he was talking there to the media, maybe to some Barcelona fans as well. He's saying, look, you're going to miss me when they're not here anymore. But Xavi did say, and this is important as well, he said, the board still tell me right now to forget about leaving. He said, they are happy with the project. And in fact, with Deco, we are already talking about things regarding next season. He said, we have been talking about my continuity in the media since back in August. And I am still here, he said, whilst laughing. But I do think it's interesting right now with Xavi. I think the tone which he actually speaks in press conferences and the way that he talks about his future, I think that really does need paying some attention to because I think it's going to be about him. He is not somebody here like coaches maybe that we've seen at Barca in the past, whereby if things are going wrong, if the mood is very bad and the feeling inside of the club is breaking down, I don't see Xavi as a kind of figure who'll just stay beyond his welcome. He is somebody there who respects the club. He is an icon. He is a legend here. He will want to protect his legend legacy, of course. And I think when he feels the time is right to leave, he will actually be the one that decides. Maybe not those above him. Because he does have the club's best interests at heart. Because even after the game, the elimination there in the Copa del Rey in midweek against Athletic, he said, if at the end of the season, we're not at a competitive level, I will have to leave. I know where I am. It's a top club, Barca. Here at Barca, you need to win. You've got to win titles, or you will be at risk. So Xavi understands this club. We we all know that and I think it will be he who decides when it's the time to leave and when is that right time because then we switch over to these rumours surrounding Jurgen Klopp, surrounding Klopp and Barca because it was a real shock announcement this morning that Klopp will leave Liverpool at the end of the season after so many glittering seasons at the club and I don't want to make it seem here guys like Xavi is already gone, already out the door, that we're already thinking about who's going to replace him but it is only natural at a club like Barca you've constantly got to be thinking about the future, about the long term, what's the right path, who is the right man and of course we have to talk about Jurgen Klopp, he is one of the best coaches coaches in the world and if he's going to be available you can bet he's going to be linked to Barca. We're going to be thinking about the possibility of Jurgen Klopp but realistically can it happen? Because first of all I feel what we've got to do here is look at why he's leaving Liverpool. You know that was a club that he spent so much time at there. He's really enjoyed it there. He's connected with the fans with the city. He's been so successful there so why has he chosen now the end of the season to leave the club? Now he says I know it's a shock for a lot of people, but I can explain it or try to explain my decision. He said it is that I am. How can I say it? 
running out of energy, running out of energy. So I just know that I cannot do this job again and again and again and again. And it almost felt there as though Klopp was saying, look, I've given everything. There is no more really that I can give. I've given absolutely everything I've got here at Liverpool and I can't give any more. And it was interesting then that he went on to say, if you ask me right now, will you ever work as a manager again? He said, right now, I would say no, but I don't know how that's going to feel because I've never experienced that situation. But he said, what I know definitely, I will never manage another club, a different club there in England other than Liverpool. So Klopp was very, very clear that he won't coach anyone in England apart from them. But I don't think he's as clear on his next move. I think right now he feels burned out. He feels mentally drained, maybe like he poured everything into the job. And I would actually compare it, actually. These words are so, so similar to me to what we heard from Pep Guardiola when he was leaving Barca after four seasons in charge, when Pep was absolutely empty there because he gave everything in that time. But of course, Pep, he went on a sabbatical and then suddenly he was ready to jump back in, first at Bayern, then for many, many years now at Man City. And I could see something like that with Klopp. I think he might need a rest. He might need a little bit of a break. But I think soon enough, he would be ready to jump back in to the right challenge. And that's the next question. Can Barca tempt Jurgen Klopp? Could they actually get him here? Are we as a club what he would be looking for? And don't forget, guys, as well... It is Juan Laporta's dream. We should make that very, very clear here on the channel. And it's not even a secret. Laporta has admired Jurgen Klopp now for many, many years. He's been looking for an opening, looking for an opportunity to sort of try and tempt Klopp. But of course, he's been so committed to Liverpool. There's been no chance to get him. There's been no window of opportunity until now. And it's a huge moment here and a huge opening for a club like Barca. But... Is it what we need? Because once again, guys, let me just say on this, I'm not saying Xavi's gone, and I'm not saying, oh, let's think about everything else other than Xavi right now, but I'm simply saying, looking to the long term, looking at life after Xavi, whenever that may be, what would Barca need? What do we look like we need as a club right now? And to me, from the outside... We actually need somebody from the outside. That's the way that it seems to me. We need somebody who can actually come into this club right at the very heart of it and tear it up. We need a proper shake-up right throughout the team there. In terms of the work rate of the players alone, in terms of the training sessions, the medical side of the team, all of that needs shredding. We need an absolute overhaul at the highest possible level and also for somebody to do that. And this is where Klopp is so instrumental. You need a strong strong personality. In order to do that Barca, you need to be massive to come into this club with the character, with the confidence to actually make those changes. And actually somebody like Klopp with the record that he has, it speaks for itself there with the stature that he has in the game. You'd have no choice but to listen to him. You'd have absolutely no option but to take his advice on board and to make the changes that he would demand in order to bring success at this club. And the kind of stature that Klopp has also buys you a bit of time and I would look at what he's done with Liverpool there the way that he was able to go into that club it's a massive club but he actually rebuilt it Liverpool when he went in there was on its knees it was a broken club from the inside and don't forget as well the finances they weren't there let's not pretend here as the Liverpool are a sort of oil rich club they're not yes we funded them in a big way with the Coutinho deal but in general Klopp has not had huge resources to work with he has not been able to compete financially with Man City really, but he's made them compete. And that is what I see with Jurgen Klopp. There's somebody who wants a challenge, doesn't always want to be in a job where he's the outright best, where he has the most resources. He wants to be somebody who gets the maximum out of what he has. He will work with what he's got. He will make changes from the inside and everything about that, that's what we need right now. Let's be honest, guys. We need an overhaul. We need a systematic change at this club. And I do think it's going to be really interesting. I really, really do. Maybe not even talking about now. Maybe not talking about the summer. We don't know how long Xavi's going to be here. We don't know what Klopp's next move will be. But looking further down the line, looking to the long-term future at this club, a project, a plan. Laporta as well, don't forget, will have to think soon about the presidential elections, which aren't too far away in the distance. All of these things make it interesting. And all of these things, I feel, make it so that you pay attention to what happens over the coming months regarding Barca, regarding our performance, regarding Xavi and regarding Klopp. What will his next move be? 
Could it be to Barca at some point? Could you see him as the coach of this club? And in your honest opinion right now, please let me know in the comments, guys. Would you like to see Jurgen Klopp in the dugout at Barca, on the Barca side? Do you feel like he could turn this club around? Do you feel as though he could succeed here? Or... Do you believe that Xavi will continue? Do you believe that Xavi will be the man to turn it all around and that he will get more time to succeed? Please do let me know, guys, all of your thoughts, all of your feelings in the comments down below. Big day today with Klopp and Xavi providing big, big headlines. And I will catch you soon, guys. Big game for Barca tomorrow at home against Villarreal. Let's wait and see what we can produce. Thank you indeed for tuning in for all of your support here on the channel. I will catch you all soon. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca. Uh -huh.